It's like I don't think there's a single industry out there that is not strongly impacted and will be strongly impacted by the climate crisis. We just see more data coming out day after day of things that are kind of changing. I mean, just look at this year here on yeah. the Central Coast and look at this year across the entirety of the country looking towards some of that more intense weather. Thankfully that we're not seeing here on the Central Coast, but all eyes are turning to Hurricane Lee as it makes its way towards New England over the next couple of days. Right now, still staying offshore quite a bit, bringing some pretty intense winds and waves to the northeast but over the next few days that'll continue to move up towards the north and really start impacting large portions of the region especially by Saturday into Sunday evening especially off of the Cape there's lots of large concerns lots of advisories watches and warnings for that so we'll be keeping a close eye on that thankfully we've got plenty of time to keep a close eye on that storm because here on the central coast we've got a big ridge of high pressure and pretty much a copy paste forecast over the next couple of days that's all because we've got this big ridge of high pressure for and that's kind of acting as a block and that's going to make pretty much a stalemate in our big weather changes here on the central coast, keeping that areas of dense fog and cloud cover in play in the morning but still some sunshine in the afternoon because of that high pressure. Basically, things aren't going to be changing too much over the next couple of days, which means good conditions to get out there and enjoy the Central Coast this weekend. There's lots to do. Checking outside where now we do have lots more of that cloud cover across all of our coastal valleys and those beaches along our west and along our south coast. A little bit of dense fog heading into those interior valleys, but thankfully visibilities aren't too low. Our lowest visibilities are in the Santa Maria area right now and in some of those higher elevations. Thankfully, Paso Robles looking pretty clear as well as in San Luis Obispo and along our south coast. No major concerns there either. Temps right now a little bit on the chilly side. Grab that extra layer as you head out the door. 55 degrees in California Valley, 59 in San Inez and 61 degrees in San Luis Obispo right now. Temp Temperatures today are going to be a little bit more on the mild side, still significantly cooler than normal for this time of the year, but very comfortable. 87 degrees in Paso Robles, 74 in San Luis Obispo, 72 in Santa Maria, 70 in Lompoc, and 76 degrees in Santa Barbara for today. Along our north coast, 59 degrees in Cayucas, a little chilly there, 88 in San Miguel, and 71 degrees in Avila Beach in the Five Cities region, very comfortable as well. Napomo at 71, 92 in California Valley, and 64 degrees in Pismo Beach beach along our south coast very comfortable still Goleta at 73 81 in both Solvang and San Inez and 77 degrees in Los Alamos checking out the seven day forecast we're going to be seeing very similar conditions over the next couple of days but from today into tomorrow we are expected to lose a couple of degrees in those forecasted temperatures no major concerns with that but that'll keep us even cooler than normal for this time of the year but still very comfortable for all of those events going on over the next couple of days and staying cooler all the way through the extended forecast as well Neil back to you. All right. Thank